kilometers beneath the earth. People descend into the deepest mine on earth. This is South Africa's Mapone and Gold Mine, a strange underground city where instead of glittering gold, what often exists is blood and death. Maponang's technical depth reaches nearly 3,891 meters, almost four kilometers underground, Although the main shaft elevator can reach a top speed of 64 km per hour, descending all the way to the working levels can take about one full hour. Why? Because miners must transfer multiple times, walk long distances through connecting tunnels, and wait for secondary lifts before finally reaching the stopes where mining takes place. Deep underground, the rock temperature can soar to around 60 degrees Celsius. Humidity reaches nearly 95%. To keep workers alive in such a hostile environment, massive cooling plants are installed, along with the use of thousands of tons of ice lorry, which is pumped into the shaft to cool the air. Every single day, around 6,400 tons of rock are extracted from Maponang. To achieve this, nearly 2,270 kilograms of explosives are used daily. And yet, from one ton of rock, the mine produces on average only about 8 to 10 grams of gold. But here, danger is not an exception, it is the rule. In 1999, an underground explosion killed 18 miners. In 2020, a rock fall caused by seismic activity killed three workers. In 2024, multiple accidents again claimed several more lives. And in 2025, a seismic shock killed two more miners. Despite such enormous risks, wages remain minimal. The official national minimum wage in South Africa is less than $400 per month on average. However, actual pay varies depending on collective bargaining agreements, company policies, and contractor arrangements. For example, Harmony Gold, the company that owns Maponang, signed a five-year union agreement, 2024 to 2029, which includes structured annual wage increments. Still, for many workers, their daily reality is risking their lives for wages that hardly match the dangers underground. This is their life, where behind the shine of a single gold ring, there may be someone's final breath. Deep level gold mining, while economically profitable, brings with it intense heat, suffocating humidity, seismic shocks, rock falls, and extreme logistical challenges. Mining companies attempt to reduce these dangers through remote-controlled machinery, large-scale cooling systems, and well-trained emergency rescue teams. Yet the history of Maponing proves one fact. The risks can never be completely eliminated. So the next time, you hold a piece of gold jewelry in your hand. Remember, behind that spark lies thousands of tons of blasted rock, thousands of tons of ice lorry, the sweat of countless miners, and in some cases, the cost of human lives. The question remains, is this truly development or is a tunnel of death beneath the earth?